Okay. When we get to Saturn, Saturn to the sun, it, it's, I mean, when Jupiter is exaggerating, Saturn's restricting. So any conjunction square opposition to the, or, or square opposition to the sun is going to cause caution, restraint, inhibition, restriction. It's going to put defensive defenses around the sun, put chain, chains on the sun. It's going to want, make someone somewhat inhibited and lack confidence or be very serious about what that seriousness, that maturity is coming in on the playful kid of the sun. So there's a tendency to be over responsibility, plan things, overly cautious, basically more, more strategic or defensive than playful. Okay, well, if you have confidence and you, if you lack confidence, Saturn, the sun is gonna make you feel inhibited and lack your confidence. You may feel I could never accomplish that. I better just go for a smaller thing. Or, or it can take a longer time to do things. I'll work over a long time to get to somewhere. That can be very good, but it's not easy. You, you could be just a kid and your mom had four other kids and all of a sudden you're the oldest and you're the teenager and you're watching them out and mom's gone somewhere else that around and you're, you're having to take on all these responsibilities early. Well, you expect them to set it to the moon, but set it to the sun affects your confidence. I have to do this, I have to do that. It makes it serious and not as playful as is natural for the sun, not as radiant as it tends to diminish how much it radiate because we're really putting it all out there. I better hold some back. So does God compromise? Does love hold itself back? No, it radiates unconditionally even if you get hurt. Doesn't matter, it radiates. So Saturn makes this cautious defensive side. And in some ways, it allows discipline, hard work, and lets people accommodate. There's a, a purpose, a will to accomplish things and pressure to have to do so. And a tendency to be cautious, to put cautions both on Mars and everything else. It's important to be defensive or cautious. Wow. You could have that defensiveness and if Jupiter is trying to expand, you have some breaks. So they, they, if you, they run into each other, Mar, you have the Sun conjunct Mars and Saturn squares it, that powerfulness will come and be delayed or restricted or disciplined in some way. So, okay. If there are good aspects, you don't have quite the expressive. It's not something that's gonna take a lot of attention. These things are there. These puzzles and challenges are still there, but they're not as critical as if they're in a stressful aspect in your nature. And you, if you have it, you've had it all your life. That's just normal to you. You're gonna look like everybody else is stupid. Why should I taking risks? Why should I involve in taking risks? It'd be easy to sell someone with Sun Saturn insurance. They're already defensive and cautious. They can see the practicality of it. It would be hard to sell Sun Mars or Sun Jupiter insurance. They can sell it to you, but it would be hard to be the harder sell. So this is sensitive, the son is sensitive to responsibilities, respect to father, to authority, to being disciplined and being prepared. So extra effort, Mars, extra understanding of the value of preparation becomes really important for the son Saturn. Take the extra time. They're not gonna be rushing things. They'll be, wait a second, on some level and it will change across a lifetime. So these aspects, they look like they define it, but they don't. They're just one layer of how all these different levels of consciousness affect each other. But out of all the aspects going on, which are all there between every planet, there are always some an aspect going on between it. You start seeing that one or two stressful ones that stand up, and you go, oh, ouch, yeah, I can see that. Now, when we get to the out of the three outer planets of excitement, romance, and truth and consequences, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, these are all factors that disrupt or really challenge the sun or your purpose or your willpower or your ego to go beyond the normal Saturnian limits, to reach beyond them, to, to ignore them, to bypass them. And really, if you're gonna bypass discipline, bypass preparation, 
it helps to really be prepared up to the moment that you do that. But usually you take the risk and there's some stability is lost in your life. You get a great opening, but then there's a loss or a cost because it diminishes how much you're going to hold together. So each of the other planets challenge the Saturn. But when, when Uranus conjuncts the squares or opposes the sun, it makes a powerful, important, willful relationship to, to change and excitement. And occasionally with a conjunction, you get a breakthrough. It's not just a stress. The stress really breaks through easier on the conjunctions than on, like there's a chance to make it more positive. It's strongly there, but there's a chance to use that more willfully when, when any planet is conjunct the sun. But when you have the Uranus, it excites. You go for the excitement and you lose the job. You go for the, you, try, you have the, you break away, do something independent, you lose your status. So the excitement is changing and breaking away from things rather than consolidating things. So what's responsible freedom? Like that's ideally, you want your awareness to send your arrogance it almost attracts disruptions. So it implies there's a lot of instability in your heart. That there'll be sudden changes. It doesn't mean you can't fall in love, but you can fall in love suddenly, be reading and suddenly it's not there. It suddenly changes. So that sudden nervous element affecting the sun, affecting your confidence, the world seems like an unstable place for this for the ego to be in. It affects it disrupts the ego. But or it can build up so someone's going for something that's determined that's destined to break or to fall apart. But it's it can it's not just about breaking and falling apart. It's just be someone has to live so different in there. It, so you're not taking a normal purpose. You're going to do something. You want to do something exceptional, or you're worried about something. There's an anxiety about something, and you have to. You can't put up with this anymore. You gotta, but your life is going to go through distinct changes. You can fall in love, but you might fall in love quickly, suddenly, and suddenly your life's changed. And it can go along for 10, 20 years, and sometime later on, boom, it'll end suddenly. But doesn't doesn't mean it's only for a short time. But there's a nervous restlessness to the confidence of these people, an anxiety principle along with it. I'm doing this. I said, okay, like this, this, this is a, an excitement and worry, but the sun conjuncts, you say, wow, I got to live freely. I got to live freely. I got to do independently. Well, if you're going to live independently, why should anyone care? Hey, notice me. Okay, see you. It's, it's not going to necessarily fit in to the structure of things. So many people come, we have a conjunction or square opposition to Uranus, and it brings challenges about stability. It becomes hard to be stable in your heart or confident, stable in your confidence. And you often align with people who are either adoring you or relating to your purpose, but they're not stable in it and you get let down by them. Shock. So the excitement and shock and sudden change, you're always trying to innovate, but not everybody wants the innovation. And sometimes the changing the structure can have further, they can build up bigger shocks or disruptions. So when you're looking at the sun and you see Uranus aspect, that's an exciting effect that's creating sudden changes that weaken the consistent radiance of the heart because it radiates and then it breaks, it radiates and it breaks, and it's like choppy, that's, it's like a strobe effect. And um, so that person might not put up with a job or night. It can come on all different levels in life, but that nervousness is there around one's goal. So the other planets, as you see them affecting the sun, you don't feel exactly fit in here. I got to change here. I got to get out of here. I got to do that. Like the ego is reacting like the sun ends up being let go. It doesn't matter. Those things don't matter. By letting go, you come to you come to your heart. You don't empower the worry or the anxiety or the excitement. Well, easy to say. Not many people that centered. They get pulled out into everything. And I think this is, the web is so exciting. The world is so exciting. Doing something different, shock, being shocking is exciting. We can dress to be shocking. We can talk to be shocking or exciting. We can live in eccentric ways. We can do things in unconventional ways. So there's an unconventional, this exciting, disturbing, anxious element to this. And 
So these people aren't going to be very conventional, but some may have this aspect and be threatened by it so much they have to be conventional. They become afraid of it and they're fighting against any change, but it still happens.